So I'm standing on the platform at Birmingham Snow Hill and today we're going on to the Snow Hill Lights, visiting three railway stations between Kidderminster and Droitwich Spa. Now the first station only has an hourly service. I'm waiting for that 10 o'clock service to get to Hartlebury, which is the first station I shall be looking at today. So I now reach the first station I'm stopping off at today, Hartlebury. And yes, this is the least used station in Worcestershire. And it's also got two platforms, but the services here are still hourly. Beyond Kidderminster towards Droitwich Spa, it's every 30 minutes, but Hartlebury still has that hourly service. So a bit of the history of this railway station because Hartlebury opened in 1852 by the Oxford Worcester Wolverhampton Railway. It became a junction station in 1862 when the line to Shrewsbury opened by a style port on Severn. Because when the Severn Valley line opened, it actually went to Hartlebury and not Kidderminster. We'll get onto that later in the video. However though, that line between Hartlebury and Bewdley closed to passengers in 1970 but kept open for freight until 1979. So before we move on, I just want to explain a few more things about this railway station. The old station building at Hartlebury is now the Tap House, which is a pub and a restaurant. Next door to that is the Hartlebury Brewing Company Limited, which I think they brew their own beers there. And if you think why this area is just so quiet, there is a reason why, because they built this station further away from the town centre of Hartlebury, or the village of Hartlebury, and it's a trek in that direction over there. That's a common feature with a lot of railway stations. They build the station, but the towns or villages they serve are usually a trek away from where the station is located. However, though, I shall not be walking to the next railway station because I'm waiting for the 1144 West Midlands Railway Service to take me to Droitwich Spa, the next location along the line. I'm going to be using it as a turnaround point before I head back to Kidminster, but there's also something special to pass through at Droitwich Spa Station. So we have now reached Droitwich Spa Station. This will be the turnaround point before I head back towards the Snow Hill Line to Kidderminster. However though, the interesting thing that's passing through this station that I mentioned at Hartlebury is a pair of Class 43 HSTs. Great Western Railway ones with Mark III coaches. A whole castle set is coming through Droitwich Spa Station. Now the reason it's coming through Droitwich Spa Station is that it's been to the Sand Valley Railway for the Spring Diesel Festival. And it's on its way back towards Worcester Shrub Hill, and then from Worcester Shrub Hill, it's going to carry on to Plymouth Lara. So the history of Droitwich Spa Station is that it opened on the 3rd of June 1899 by the Great Western Railway. It actually replaced the earlier station which opened in 1852 by the Oxford Worcester Wolverhampton Railway. 
When it was opened in 1852, it was named Droitwich, but the spa wasn't added till this station opened in 1899. At the north end of the station is a junction. The line on the left takes you towards Kidderminster onto the Snow Hill Line, and the line on the right takes you towards Bromsgrove onto Birmingham New Street by the Cross City Line, which is also the former Birmingham to Gloucester Railways line as well. So that train right behind me there is the 1257 to Stratford upon Avon, which is going by Kidderminster, which I was supposed to be on that train heading to Kidderminster right now, but the problem is the Class 43 HSTs have not turned up yet. So we're going to hang around Droitwich Spa a bit longer to see if they're going to show up or not. So it's nearly half past one and we have seen the HST on the Kidderminster cam. It's left about 60 odd minutes late. So it's on its way, it's just an hour late. Going through Hartlebury now. Yeah. A page just uh, going through Hartlebury. So I'm actually uh, joined with somebody here. Hi, I'm Turbo Ted. Turbo Ted. Uh, yeah, we've been chatting for the past hour here. So. Just waiting for the HST. <laughs> yeah, we're just waiting for the HST. So we now got that class 43 HST out of the way. We're going to be leaving Droitwich Bar an hour later than planned. But we are still going to head to Kidderminster. We're just going to be at Kidderminster an hour later than planned and leave Kidderminster an hour later than planned anyway. So we're going to get the 1357 now to Kidderminster. <laughs> I don't live here. <laughs> so an hour later than planned, we have reached Kidderminster, or otherwise known as Mordor. Now I do have a confession to make, because those Class 43 HSTs, I could have got them at Kidderminster, because the 1257 to Stratford-upon-Avon got to Kidderminster before the HSTs left the Seven Valley Railway onto the main line. So I could have got the HSTs at Kidderminster, but to be honest, I wouldn't mind waiting the extra hour to see them at Droitwich Spa. So Kidderminster Station opened on the 1st of May 1852 by the Oxford, Worcester and Wolverhampton Railway. Now, it didn't get the link for Bewdley till 1878 after the line was opened from Shrewsbury to Hartlebury in 1863. Now, the line from Shrewsbury to Bewdley was closed in 1963. However though, passenger services still kept running from Kidderminster to Bewdley till 1970 when they ceased the passenger services. The line was still kept open for freight until 1983. Now the line from Kidderminster using the old goods yard to Bridge North is served by the Heritage Railway, the Seven Valley Railway. So during the May timetable change of 2023, 
Services from Kidminster towards Birmingham are running out of 15 minute frequency. However though, down there, there's a sign that says Chiltern Loco. However though, in the May 2023 timetable change, they cease serving Kidminster and cut back to Stourbridge Junction. Which is a shame really, because Chiltern Railways at Kidderminster would be good. However though, I did read somewhere that Great Western Railway might be serving Kidderminster in the very distant future, like 2040, from London Paddington, but I don't know how that's going to happen. If that may happen, that may not happen. However though, we shall leave Kidderminster Station on the next train back towards Birmingham. I was planning to go back to Birmingham on the Snow Hill lines, but I thought, you know what, let's get off at Medic Golden Bridge. So go back towards Birmingham New Street on the Stour Valley lines. There's a train from Shrewsbury that's running about a minute late, so we're going to be catching that. Blue Street waits for the 1615 West Midlands Railway Service to Rouge Town. <laughs> so I have reached Rouge Town Station and honestly, visiting Kidderminster, Hartlebury and Droitwich Spa has really been brilliant. Not in that order though, but we have visited those three stations. We also saw the Great Western Railway Castle class set, the HST, passing through Droitwich Spa Station, even though it was running an hour late, which maybe we had two hours in Droitwich Spa. Never again. <laughs> no, seriously, it was nice. And honestly, there's been no delays, no cancellations on the Snow Hill line. It has really been a brilliant day. That tie table change I think is for the better, but only time will tell if it's for better or for worse. Speaking of the Snow Hill lights, I'm going to drop a video right here. Feel free to give that a click. The people on screen now are YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Simon Trade, and feel free to join me on the next railway journey down the line. Thanks for watching.